Hey, how's it going everybody? Ryan here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, uh, whatever it is that you're watching this video. Uh, as you can see by the title of this video, I wanted it to take some time this morning to talk about something that I have been getting <laughs> like a ton of questions on uh, over the last few... Uh, it's been primarily the last few weeks or months, but if we're being completely honest, it's probably one of the most polarizing talking points of Animal Crossing New Horizons since the game has been released. Well, not not really since it's released, more so uh, probably at the I would say after the first month of its release. And that is Brewster's inclusion in New Horizons, or I guess to be more accurate, lack of inclusion or possible inclusion. Uh, like I said, a lot of people have been asking me about my opinion on Brewster. It's not really something I've kind of talked about on this channel in depth. Uh, and then with the recent data mine coming out, you know, there's a lot of folks who are predicting even more and more and more, and people are actually doubling down that Brewster is most likely coming back to New Horizons. And like I said, a lot of people have been asking me what I think. And so what I wanted to do this morning was kind of just lay my thoughts out there for Brewster, what I think about Brewster in New Horizons. And, uh, you know, I guess maybe some other expectations uh, if I were to have any. So uh, long story short, uh, for those that don't know, there is a recent data mine that indicates very heavily that Brewster will be coming back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, this is not necessarily really news. Brewster's inclusion in the game has kind of been data mined uh, previously, even as far back as I think it was probably April or May of last year. So again, shortly after the game had come out. Um, but since that time, we haven't seen anything. There have been villagers who mention Brewster by name every now and again, but otherwise there hasn't been anything super conclusive that Brewster uh, will be coming back. Uh, the data mine uh, would lead you to believe that he's probably coming back into the form of a museum cafe, which would be very reminiscent of some of the first few Animal Crossing games uh, that had come out. The roost was located in the museum uh, until later games when uh, the roost actually turned into its own uh, like cafe, its own individual building. And uh, well, one of the questions that I guess I should address first and foremost uh, that a lot of people have have been asking me for the last while, like few while now, a few while now, a few days now, is uh, do I think Brewster is actually going to come back? And my response to that is a very boring, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I know that there are a lot of data mines that have ended up becoming true in the past, things like farming, swimming, and, and things of that nature. Uh, and I know that like it's really, in hindsight, easy to see why those would you know, become a reality because of the fact that those are actually features that were included in previous Animal Crossing games. And so the notion that Brewster coming back, uh, you know, that that particular idea is certainly not out of the realm of possibility. However, there are a lot of things about Brewster that when it comes to this game, it, it's hard for me to, to kind of place in regards to his purpose. Um, and I know that sounds that sounds really weird. Allow me to kind of elaborate, I guess. So when people ask me, do I think he's going to come back in the form of a restaurant, like its own individual building, I would say probably not. Y you see, in my opinion, New Horizons is through and through, first and foremost, an island designing game. Uh, I've mentioned this in the past in different live streams, and I think I've even mentioned it in a couple of videos every now and again, but in my honest opinion, Animal Crossing New Horizons placed a lot of emphasis on its terraforming, uh, hence the reason why we don't see a lot of the NPCs that we would normally see uh, from previous Animal Crossing games. You know, we no longer have a post office. The airport is essentially the post office at this point. Um, the NPCs that would normally have shops to sell things, such as Kicks, uh, or even you could even say Leaf at this point, their only purpose in the game is a one-stop shop every few weeks uh, trading cart at the resident services center. So the idea that uh, Brewster would be coming back in the form of like his own museum size, which would be five by seven or seven by five building, I can't see. I I the reason again, like I said, is that I feel like Nintendo wanted to give players the opportunity to design an island in the way that they, you know, wanted to. And you can't really do that if you have 10 buildings in addition to the 10 villagers and your house and museum you know it just it just doesn't seem like adding a completely new building is in the realm of possibility for 
Brewster coming back. And of, of course, when it comes to this type of video, I'm always more than happy to go back on it later on and, and eat my own words and, and basically just be like, oh, well, I was completely wrong about that. But uh, in my opinion, with them placing so much emphasis on designing the island, I can't imagine them bogging down a particular section, uh, especially with the game being almost uh, a year and a half old at this point. So that leaves... Uh, the only reasonable place for him to be placed with the roost is going to be in the museum. And in the recent data mine, there have been uh, there have been reports that, uh, or rather, not reports, it's basically in the coding, that uh, there is a code for a, another museum level and then a cafe camera angle. This would indicate heavily that the character walking into the cafe in the museum would activate a different type of camera angle, uh, very similar to kind of how you get a uh, more close-up shot as you walk into, say, your home, a villager's home, nooks, cranny, red, you know, things of that nature. You get a different camera angle that goes down and kind of zooms in on the door. Uh, so there is a possibility that that line of code indicates that that's what that's going to be. However, there's also a possibility that uh, these two lines of code have absolutely nothing to do with each other. That's always a possibility as well. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of people also want to know, like, do I want Brewster in the game? Do I want him included? What kind of things do I do I expect from him and, and things of that nature? And and the, the bottom line for me, honestly, is any content that's introduced into this game, uh, especially new content, is always going to be welcome. I, there are a lot of folks who are pretty frustrated with the recycling of events um, from last year into this year, and the only thing they're really doing is introducing new items. And, you know, there I, I think off the top of my head, there is one new event. It's the prom event, which... I, I guess <laughs> is an event. Um, but as of the timing of this video, you know, the wedding event is coming back. Uh, the museum day is currently in effect right now. And so it's a lot of stuff that we had last year. And so I, I would say, despite that being new content for 2021, it's not really new for all of us who have been playing it for a while. And I know that a lot of people kind of defend that and saying that, oh, well, it, it's just kind of like, that's content for people who just got it recently. And, and my argument to that would be, well, when does that end? You know, like are, are in 20 is it in 2040, if they're still updating this game, are they, are they updating it in accordance to the people who are just getting it in 2039? If that makes sense. I know that they said that they're only going to be updating this game for two to three years, but it does kind of beg the question. Okay. What did that mean? They were pretty, uh, kind of cryptic with the meaning of what that meant for updating this game every two to three years. But uh, regardless, yeah, any content added to this game, I would say is always going to be a, a welcome uh, addition to New Horizons. But if we're being completely honest with you, the thing that Brewster would do uh, would essentially not only make it so that you have one extra thing to do daily, which might take an extra five to 10 minutes added onto your routine if you still have one. Uh, the biggest thing that I could see it doing is it could actually you know enhance the character dialogue in regards to your villagers what they say i joke around a lot that this game doesn't actually have 391 villagers it has eight villagers skinned 391 different ways because if i talk to dom he says the exact same thing that lyman does and it's very difficult for me to make the distinction between the two um and you know place a lot of emphasis on one being better than the other i i know that lyman is my favorite villager overall but yeah, when he says the exact same thing as Dom, it, it's very difficult for Lyman to have any sort of appeal to him other than just the fact that he is a green koala and he's been there from the very beginning. So if Brewster's Cafe means that the villagers can have their ideal cup of coffee and they maybe say different things um, and maybe enhance how many different forms of dialogue are spread out across the 391 villagers, that would be the biggest reason why I would want Brewster. Um, you know, I've already done so much in this game, particularly on my Northern Hemisphere Island, where I don't really have a daily routine anymore. And so doing this would add, you know, I, it would give me something to do daily, sure, but it certainly is not adding on to any extra time that I'm, you know, already not spending on, like, for example, my Northern Hemisphere Island. Uh, but... Honestly, when it comes to this versus any other content that they could add, while Brewster is great, I think that I'm kind of in the same party as those who want just overall more content, more new actual things to do daily. Like, uh, I know that we all say things like Tortimer's Island and things like that, but because of many, uh, 
the reason is because a minigame island would actually uh, be great not only for the solo experience, but also for the multiplayer experience. It's, it's actually something to do. Brewster's Cafe, the roost, and talking to your villagers and stuff like that, that's not actually, like, things to do. And I know that people can probably, you know, kind of take that any which way they want to, but in my opinion, I would rather do things that my character is able to do in this game, such as chopping down trees, digging up resources, going for a swim. Uh, if there were mini games based around those things, think of it very similarly to the Turkey Day event. I think that would actually enhance my gameplay of New Horizons more so than Brewster. But like I said before, I think Brewster in general is just uh, is just a great addition. If, he, if Brewster was to finally make an appearance, like I said, any content, any new upgrades to the game is always going to be welcome. But New Horizons, you know, for a lot of folks, especially those who've been playing it for a long time, they kind of hold it in a not so great of a regard anymore because of uh, impatience and... And I won't get into all that because, you know, I try not to, I guess, add fuel to the fire or turn this into an echo chamber more so than anything. But uh, certainly uh, I can I can I can agree with various aspects of the of the uh, the frustration with New Horizons and its kind of differentiation from previous Animal Crossing games. And you could even argue that this is one of those instances where trying something new didn't actually go that great. Um, so yeah, in summary, I don't think Brewster would be coming back in the form of a building. I think Brewster will be coming back in the form of the roost inside of the museum, as in some of the first Animal Crossing games. Uh, but if we're being completely honest, uh, I would much prefer if there were other things for my character to do daily. Um, and I, I know that probably not wording it the right way, but yeah, in essence, I, I do want more things that, you know, are actually to do. Um... Otherwise, yeah, I know that there are a lot of people who are going to have a lot of opinions about Brewster. I, I'm I see it all over Twitter, people's opinions on Brewster. So uh, by all means, let me know in the comments section down below, you know, is Brewster the number one priority for you? I know that we haven't, we don't really talk about Brewster on this, uh, on this channel. And th the reason being is because I, I feel like just that whole conversation has essentially been run into the ground and it's like beating a dead horse. And again, it's just like adding to something that didn't really need something added to it. But like I said, it, we, it's not really something that I've talked about on this channel before, and I've been getting a ton of questions about it, uh, particularly over the last couple of days. And so I figured I'd go ahead and just kind of make this video as a one-stop shop uh, for those that are wondering my kind of thought process on it. And then uh, hopefully I don't have to uh, I don't have to talk about Brewster uh, until he comes back to New Horizons. If he was to come back to New Horizons, if not, then you know, then this video is out there, and I've and I've said my piece with it. <laughs> Otherwise, that'll do it for this morning's, uh, I guess, uh, Animal Crossing and Chill podcast episode where we talk about Brewster. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. I appreciate it very much. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to give it a like. And of course, if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about and give my thoughts on, by all means, leave a comment down below. I would love to uh, I'd love to make more of these videos if, uh, if there was any particular kind of questions or thoughts you guys had uh, that you wanted me to discuss uh, in greater detail. Uh, and of course, if you're new here and want to see when those videos get posted, uh, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. That way you never miss a new video whenever it's posted. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful rest of your morning or day. And uh, until next time, take care. I'll see you later.